The most exciting change in AFL in the last couple of years has been the AFLW and the Brisbane Lions women's team um, debuted with a win at the weekend against the Crows in Adelaide. They play their first game in Brisbane this weekend and two of the stars of the Brisbane Lions join us right now, Talia and Shannon. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Very well. Now, Shannon uh, has got a reminiscing story for us, Caroline. Shannon, which school did you go to? Uh, primary school, I went to Kaluan and high school, Maurice Jaw. Right. And so, Talia, you're a Kaluan kid too. Yeah, so Kaluan and then high school was okay. Mountain Creek. Shannon, yep. Shannon, make us feel old. How long ago did we come to your school at Kaluan? I think I was in grade two. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I can't think off right. the top of my head, but so close. So we're, we're talking yeah. how many years is that now? I'm 21 now, so... <laughs> yeah. That's great, Shannon. I don't know. I don't know. Great story. Maths is cool not story. my best part. Cool story. She just say, I'm a footballer. I can't yeah. count backwards. That's <laughs> no, all right. Exactly. No one's going to judge you for that. That's okay. Hey, um, so now tell us, did, when did you play your first AFL? Uh, so I played my first game of AFL when I was six. Yeah. Um, I joined my brother's under eights team down at the uh, Chancellor Park Eagles. Yeah. And just joined in and played in his team. So you one of these girls that probably got to maybe 13, 14 and couldn't play anymore? Oh, I was lucky in that sense, so I wasn't allowed to play club anymore. Under 12s was the highest I could go. Yeah. But by that stage, there was uh, in-school cup competitions in school and youth mm. girl competitions in school. There was just no club. So, so you yeah, got, got to play all the way through yeah. in some form, which yeah. is yeah. cool. Yeah. And Shannon, what about you? When did you first start playing AFL? Um, I think I was seven. I started at um, Richdale Roos. Um, so I played there for three years and then obviously got to that age where girls couldn't play with the boys any longer um but yeah we were playing through um primary school and high school um we got to play in the Carrollberry cup as well so you had a really big crowd at adelaide on the weekend didn't you was it nineteen thousand or something like that um i think it was eleven thousand in the end um so you should have gone with my number yeah, yeah that's right yeah. we're here to pump exactly. it up <laughs> no but it, it did we wish were, were you surprised as players at how many people turned out for last year's female comp like, I mean, they're selling out stadiums. Did that shock you a little bit? Are you like, oh, my God, everyone's onto this? Or were you like, well, that's the way it should be. There's heaps of chicks that want to see this, you know? like. Yeah, I think um, it was a bit of an unknown of what was going to happen. Um, obviously, we really wanted it to do well. Um, and it was just about everyone else kind of showing their support and turning up. But I think definitely surprised a few people on how many people turned up. But it was awesome for the league. And it's brutal. Like, I've watched you girls play. You are smashing each other's heads off and doing all those <laughs> brutal moves that the guys do. You should do. see the girls' faces. They're like, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> like, seriously, I've seen. And I dare say you might have been out to prove something last year as well because it got it got very physical, very nasty. Yeah, so the game against the Crows on the weekend, that was a little bit extra special for the, that we got the win. Um, yep. Obviously, we'd lost the grand final by six points to them yep. 315 days <laughs> previously. Not that we were counting. No. But, um, yeah, it, you know, you don't have to overstep the mark, but it's always good to make the opposition know that you're there. Who's yeah. the team to beat this year? Us. Hopefully us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, obviously... All the uh, Melbourne media are pumping up the four teams from down there, so yeah, um, we're flying under a radar, under the radar again, which yeah. I think um, suits us really well. And where did you land in the comp last year? Um, we finished minor premiers. So nice. they, yeah, they lost the grand final to the Adelaide That's Crows, it. which was the rematch on last weekend. Yeah, right. No, yeah. sorry, I thought that was yeah. the pre-season. Mm, no. Right, no. okay, yeah. right. So I've yeah. just caught up. Yeah. Um, okay, awesome. All right, so minor premiers. So we know famous people now, Caroline. Yeah, we like, most certainly do. You know. So this weekend, uh, where's the match? Uh, so it's at the South Pine Sporting Complex down at Brendale at 3.30. Who are you playing? The Western Bulldogs. Right. right. Okay. You'll beat them, won't you? Yeah. It'll yeah. be a good game, but hopefully we come out on top. Right. Yeah. I, I, I didn't right. check. What position do you play, Talia? Uh, so I'm a key defender, yep. but this year I'm moving into the ruck. Okay. And Shannon? Uh, back pocket. Full back, back area. Yeah. All right. Yep. Cool. So you, yep. could, you could take me out on a, on a mark. You should be able to take me out, right? Yeah. Just yeah. like right up. Absolutely. Knee in the back of the head. Yeah. Did that mine. last year to one of the girls. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah there's definitely. A, there's a slight height difference between me and Shannon, <laughs> but I like her ambition. Uh, so <laughs> Shannon Campbell and Talia Randall, we will be watching you this weekend. Hopefully uh, some people from the coast will make the journey down. Uh, but we're so excited for you. Have a yeah. great season. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Keep an eye out for those Sunshine Coasters playing for the Brisbane Lions. It's yep. Mark and Caroline for breakfast, 92.7 Mix FM. More news headlines next up. Mark and Caroline for breakfast, 92.7 Mix FM.